Varouche. It's Anoush. Come on, Anoush. I know you don't. Yes, literally. You really got to hear this. It's not crap. Car wash. Just in case of copyright. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Dimitri. <laughs> wow. They're all washing the cars. Left circle and the right circle. Got it. Hey, moon. Moon. Thank you so much for bringing out the Moon, look at you. Moon? What? I wonder why Moon's so hot. <laughs> yeah, Moon's still my fave. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, nice swim trunks, Chris. <laughs> Jiminy, it must be hot. Must be hot out there then if they're in their swim trunks and their sleeveless stuff and must be hot as crap out there. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, he finally shaved his face. He shaved his face. Nice. Honest, this job entails a lot of rough work. I'm moving furniture, hanging pictures, and you can just tell it's not really nice for offices. Well, I've done some maintenance work, so I know how it goes. Yes, you have. It says here on your resume, you have extensive computer experience. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember how to get on the internet. Listen, I'll do whatever you need me to do. I'll have to show up early or work overtime. It's going to be a test for me. Very noble. Yeah, I mean, and you certainly had a lot of overlooking to work. Well, I just, one last thing. I noticed you didn't fill out the card about any prior arrests. Gosh. Hey, I think we're just a couple of guys talking here. Okay. I mean, what are we dealing with? A DUI, petty theft? This is just a formality. Well, it's perfect. Yeah, thank you. That's right. Willful destruction of property. Not necessarily in that order. But a year ago, I was arrested for assaulting a minor. A minor? No, thanks to multiple minors. Kids are real pricks. You're not going to get hired for this. He's like, no. He's like, I don't think you should be hired. This guy again is coming over to. He's about to. Hey. Come on. Oh. Ow. Oh. Banged him again. Oh no. He's getting beat.
Punch up. What's he doing back there? He's like, I'm not even gonna. This whole place is full of useless crap. Look at this shit crap they've got in my crap. Simple. My crap has value. You want money? Give me something of value. I got a 93 Dodge Caravan. Really? 93. He doesn't do cars, though. I don't know, this guy's kind of annoying too. Oh, get the hell out of my shop. It's worth it. Come the... on, man. What am I supposed to do? I don't own anything valuable. Really? It says get the hell out of my shop. Fine. Look at that smuggler. You had lunch with the noosh? Yeah, that I don't know. Come on, Amanda. Don't sell the coal. And he's offering you a lot of money, though. Um... You know, when I was a kid, I wanted my own car so bad. My mom had this station wagon. It was such a stupid junk. And then we had a pusher to get hands in. Remember the thing I gave you that 474 and all that? Oh, yeah. Ever since, I've been in love with cars. That's why Mr. Yagi just seems to say, it wasn't my idea. I thought car salesman was crazy. It's such a bullshit stereotype. But Mr. Miyagi told me, Daniel-san. Daniel-san. Must follow passion. Man She's flip sinking him. She knows it. She knows the whole She knows the goal is never to be the number one auto dealer in the valley. I just wanted to give those customers that same sense of excitement I had when I got my first car. That's what I did, and that's why we were successful. And hey, no. after all, no. I love what we built here. I love that we did it together. I don't know when I'll leave it, but you know I need to move on. If we don't sell the coal, we might end up with nothing. Why don't we, why don't we uh, go play with Bruce and Chris?
Sick. He's like, oh, hey, remember me? You guys just leave him the hell alone. All right, listen up. Visitation tomorrow. Velasquez, Bender, Espinoza, Dean. Before calling the name, be ready first thing in the morning. Wait, did you say you're forgiving? Lawrence. John. Johnny. We're going to end part two right here. Stay tuned for part three.